Welcome back to another video, Top Hat Plus. I want to talk to you a little bit today about Ken Block and some ways he impacted me. I know the car community and the world as a whole is kind of mourning this just horrific circumstances. My absolute condolences go out to friends and family of his. I am very disappointed I did not become one of those friends, but life is life and it takes some turns. And I thought I would share a little story that made this hit a little closer to home. So two years ago, almost to the day, I was finishing up my bedroom. I had just moved and I had built a bedroom in a room that did not exist. And I found out a friend of mine was in a snowmobile accident. She was driving a snowmobile with a friend of mine on the back and hit a tree. She tore her carotid artery. She had a stroke. She got airlifted to a hospital, airlifted to another hospital, and this was right when the COVID stuff was happening. Her accident was January 2nd, 2021, and she was taken off life support February 1st, 2021, and she passed away February 2nd, 2021. So it was one month to the day from the accident till she passed away, and it was pretty devastating. She was just an absolute force. She was a police officer. She was an incredible human. She was trying to change the world. She was changing the world. She had recently come back into her lives. She was trying to help me get dating again after all the stuff I've been through. Like she never thought about herself. It was all about everybody else. And then this accident happened to her and she did not make it. So I wanted to commemorate her. I wanted her to have just one symbol in my life for the rest of my life that commemorated that good person that was doing good things. So I wanted to do something and I didn't know what to do and I let it sit for a couple months before the idea came to me to put a number on my motorcycle on the battery cover and the oil tank, which I thought was kind of a cool nod to the style and my kind of taste, but it gave purpose to the number. Her number was 98. She was, there was the last two digits in her badge number. So that kind of became like the group number. So 98 is kind of a big deal to a lot of us that know what it, what it means. I've shared a lot of sunset posts on Instagram tagged hashtag 98 because that was, that was her. And she, she will never, never go a day without a thought. It just, it's just fact. When you're a good person, you just leave this enormous trail of of memories behind. So Ken Block has been a huge inspiration for a lot of people, myself included. The The empire he's created of creative people doing creative things and financing it by being creative is incredible to me and a huge goal of mine. My, my goal has always been to be a social content creator, build a team and do really cool things for a living. That's been the goal. And it has never wavered. And I've followed Hoonigan and the different uh, projects they've done. I've followed Ken Block and the different projects he's done. And he's always been an inspiration. So using him as a catalyst, I took his art style for his number 43 on the Hoonicorn because I loved it so much. And I tweaked it to 98 and I had it printed on a plotter for a decal to put on my Harley Davidson on screen and that became like that's kind of like my thing it's like my my personal reminder to myself to do good be good which was Megan saying so I've I've got these little nods I've done and I use Ken Block as an inspiration because I really liked how his art made me feel. I liked when I seen the Hoonicorn, like it's cool and it's fast and it's powerful and it's loud and all the stuff it was, but the art direction and his vintage helmet and everything he had done in that Gimkana really spoke to me because it was off the beaten path, but it was so genuine that I connected with it. So when I needed to do something that I connected with and I wanted a genuine feel, I immediately thought of Ken Block and I immediately sourced him as a inspiration for artwork to remember and now that he has passed I, I want to do something for him too even if it's just in my workshop here for me every day to remind myself of what the goal is and what the team will be and what we're doing as a society and what I want to contribute and leave behind more than anything because legacy is the only thing left behind when you die so his legacy is incredible and I will never 
have a moment where I'm not thankful for what he's done and the people he did it for and, and all of us as a community. It's It's been a lot. It was a very emotional night. I woke up at 4 a.m. because I'd gone to bed early and I just, like, I didn't even know I was crying. The tears were flowing and I'm scrolling Facebook and people had messaged me on Instagram and I had all these missed phone calls from my brother and it was like like the whole community search all at once and I just woke up to this just downpour of emotion from all aspects of people and and, and communities and it it was incredible it was absolutely incredible so to the block family my condolences to Ken Block we will we'll meet again we will race we will we will do what we were supposed to do till next time drive safe take care and behave as always